lakini mabisi zangu wananijua tedo ama dino nimegroia dando nilicheza ball dando dan rayut eh miaka kadhaa after nimetoka chuo kidogo tukatoka dan rayut nikaingia jmj kacheza jmj tukatoka na jmj tukaenda belgium belgium na, na ile timu yote mnajua ya jmj kina tosh mugabe uko trials trials ni kibol nilitoboa lakini siasa kulikuwa na mambo isipoku tofauti na ball ni lingi ya kati ni nikakosa na uo agent mimi nikaingia sachin kivyangu nikaingia greece nikapika greece miaka kama tatu nikatoka greece ni nikaka kama finland so ukisema ulipiga greece miaka tatu ulikuwa unacheza ball greece and kwa nchi za ball kwa nchi za semi pro mchezaji mm-hmm. timu kadhaa uko so and ilikuwa ni country pawn kwa napata kitu kidogo fiti yani naweza sema wana appreciate ball sana mm-hmm. level ya ball pia ile ilikuwa tunapiga ilikuwa sawa mm-hmm. eh ah uh, okay that's nice um odada at least wewe wasi wanakujua mtaani at least umecheza uh, harambe junior team um Uh, but for the benefit wenye wakujui pia unajua tangu ende sabi watu walikusahau unaweza introduce na utanguli grow ya wapi na um, ulijipataje red bell grade in sabia okay uh, thank you for this opportunity and kwa wale wanijui like um, Richard Odada uh, nime raise you Ronga na nimezaliwa Ronga so Ronga ni mtaa yangu kila msiana nijua wa hiyo area and nilianza kucheza bola kwa timu fulani ya mtaa inaitwa Rafsa and after hapo nikaenda academy fulani inaitwa Elite i think most of the people they know the academy and after hapo nikaanza kucheza bola ya shule Laser Hill after Laser Hill nikamaliza form 4 then nika get opportunity ya kuenda Italy then after Italy then i went back home then after that I came to Serbia and now I'm currently in Serbia. Okay, we'll we'll come to that journey. Um so Gavin Gashangi wendo wasi wengi wa kujui sana mtaani. Um but you're playing for a top team in uh, in Netherlands for the youth side of Willem 2, you know, uh, uh, that's a very big opportunity for a Kenyan player. So for the benefit of kujui, ebu ji introduce. So thank you for this opportunity. Mini Gavin, Gavin Gashangi. Mi uh, nilikuja nilikuja Holland nikiwa 12 nikiwa 12 years nilikuwa na kujanga nikirudi kwa sababu mama alikuwa na boyfriend huku so nikujanga nikirudi alafu nikiwa 14 so ndo nilikujanga kuishi huko so home home sikuwa nachezanga ball nilikuwa nilikuwa mi young tu nilikuwa nachezanga ball nje lakini sikuwa ati kwa club sikuwa kwa team nachezanga lakini shule nilikuwa sunflower sijui kama mnajua sunflower iko kama iko nilikuwa nachezanga nilikuwa nacheza huko ball na nilikuwa i think nilikuwa class 4 lakini nikiwa na hawa vijana wa kama class 8 wakicheza ball nilikuwa nacheza nao so yeah uh, nilikuwa nacheza nao alafu sasa ndio nikakuja Holland Holland nikajaribu ball uh, nilikuwa nacheza amateur alafu nilianza nga late nilianza nikiwa 15 hapo ndio nilianza kucheza ball 16 alafu tena nikacheza one year and one year kila kitu explode ilianza haraka sana uh, okay so, so mtani umesema uh, ulikuwa shule inaitwa sunflower but ukiwa Kenya ulikuwa na uli grow ya mtaa gani nili grow ya Kiamaiko uh, okay that's nice. mm-hmm. we we'll, we'll come to, to the details now of your career dino tukirudi kwako um unajua umesema something very interesting ulienda na hiyo ulienda belgium na hiyo crop ya you know yakina mgabe yakina tosh mlikuwa a crop of very 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 good players at that time and you know mlikuwa mmeanza kufungulia wa Kenya wengi njia unajua kwenda kushatini wa Kenya that ball is a chezo maju but out of all those people i don't kumbuki mlikuwa sio ngapi but i know you are over 10 um, ngwa 18 mlikuwa 18 koyo 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 kwa kwa sio nyolenda nyolenda searching uh, you know belgium out of 18 players uh, only tosh Uh, na mgabe ndo at least wamecheza ball wamecheza ball top level na at least hili bado anacheza unajua but out of all those 18 good players only 
um, Gabento ali make it kwenda kucheza at the very top unajua um, mm. having stayed in 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 Europe umecheza ball Greece umecheza ball uh, Belgium umefanya tarus na sayo na work around football still in in Europe mm. what do you think it takes for a Kenyan player or an African player coming from Africa where we don't play really organized football at a young age ina take nini ndo mtu atoke Kenya and they make it vizuri kama yeye mgabea ni make some za paka IPL what does it take for a Kenyan player to make it to the top level in Europe ina take a lot sana na kwanza kitu naweza nataka ku, ku, ku insist ni tunafuat pe mgabea na tosh ile respect ya the fact that we maintain kucheza hiyo top level for that long period of time i, I think what we uh, understand what goes behind a lot of hard work a lot of sacrifice in a go behind that uh, but discipline ukiangalia tosh na mgabe discipline yao at no question near the highest highest level kienda mm-hmm. kutembelea either one of them the tz personal tz ile wanapiga kivyao ile si ya team si ya nini wana pigia tizi serious so hiyo mm. ndio naweza sema ina ina why make different na watu wengine alafu tukirudi kwa kwa watu we kwa watu 18 wote wale si wote wale make it yeah kwa wow our uh, decisions mingi zilikuwa out of their hand mm-hmm. ki ball watu walipiga ball lakini decisions mingi zilikuwa out of their hand si ball ilirudisha watu mtaa peke yake mm-hmm. kulikuwa na other details zilikuwa wako behind that Uh, like can you shed light um, uh, you know um, some all quite talented and i don't i really don't doubt that but uh, mm. what, what sort of decisions do you do, are you talking about ukisema kuna vitu zilikuwa beyond them unajua kama kuna wengine tunaweza sema walipata opportunity lakini walipiga blanda but kuna wengine una, kama mimi naweza sema ni mambo ya ya doi lingili ya katikati unapata mwenye anatusimamia anataka anataka domo na club ikujui unaona huyu mtoka Kenya umekuja mwenye anakuambia amekuleta anataka doa anasema wewe ni mdeadly lakini club ikutambui inasema wacha tukujenge tumpe huyu kijana miaka tupe huyu kijana miaka mbili then tuta make do lakini ule ule mtu ana patience anasema hapana huyu huyu dino ni mdeadly ana need tuna need kutoa hiyo do mm. lakini pia kitu annoying na ndio pia imefanya mimi nimeingia kwa shughuli ya ball ya ball na nataka kufanya vitu different ni mtu anasema kitu kama hiyo alafu ile option anakupatia ni kesho narudi mtaani so kesho kesho uko dando na anasema hapo kidogo ile doni ndio anapewa ni kidogo so unaangalia hizo vitu mbili unaona zingiani ah uh, okay uh, that's very interesting odada um unajua where despite your talent uh, umesema umegrow ronga um, umecheza elite na kumbuka kuna kati mfulani ulikuwa acheza hapo kibra but hujacheza nsl hujacheza kpn Uh, uli get any chance because najua uh, venye unasema ulicheza elite after after high school ulienda uli get chance kwenda Italy i think you did travel with AC Milan and Inter Milan right no in Juventus uh, Inter Juventus you know for for a young player kutoka Kenya mwenye ajulikani uli get any chance ya kwenda kutena uh, kufanya travels na Inter then uh, Juventus and how was it like for you um kenya na za sema like when i was high school nilikuwa tu najipush like ju dino ameongelea ya kuhusu gmj mm. and laser hill kulikuwa na players wengi wametoka gmj so tulikuwa napiga tu story about kina mugabe nini nini so me inside nilikuwa na kitu like okay kama kina mugabe wa make it then pia sisi one day tunaweza make it unajua so it depends like wewe mwenyewe inside cause mimi nakwambia Jeff Kenya vijana wanajua ball si ati nini vijana wanajua ball wako talented but uh, sijui naweza sema nini ndio shida of course kuna kuna shida za background penye msi ametoka unapata mtu huyu anataka kucheza ball but akirudi home ana kitu ya kudishi unaona pia hapo ni tricky so um jani yangu ilianzia hapo laser after laser vinyo nilimaliza shule nika nika join club fulani hapo ya Kibra like for let's say six months nilikuwa tunacheza ball then after that nika get opportunity ya kwenda Italy 
ili kuja tu hivyo like hata siko na expect mimi lembo tu uh, invitation yako me come and unafa kwenda Italy Okay, so ni ilikuwa shock because ilikuwa fast time. Nani alikuwa anakuambia? Usema uliambo tu invitation imekaa, mnani alikuwa anakuambia? Okay, um kulikuwa na directors wa hiyo club. Directors because ah see it. So hiyo uh-huh. club ni ilikuwa ya Kibra, ilikuwa na Jita Dreams. Uh-huh. Dreams Academy. Yeah, uh-huh. cuz nearly join um I think 2017 up or March. Uh-huh. Then Um I don't know maybe kitu 2018 uh January then we can Italy so it happened to you like fast hata siko na expect so after kwenda Italy nika nikapiga trials na Inter of course vitu zilienda poa kwa zawezi ka kwa club kama Inter for let's say 25 days or one month it's impossible like kama ujibol ama hawakutaki watakwambia tu like for the first two days or even one day like okay tomorrow you cannot come something like that mm. then after that after net got trials na inter like vitu zilikuwa okay kila kitu but the problem is kama uko under age always sign europe mm. so you'll go issue so after apple um after one month nikiwa italy tu um agent wangu akaniambia um ameongea na na juve and the following day walikuwa na game so mimi hata sikuenda like training or something mimi nenda to game and we can put the opportunity like the next uh like second half nikacheza 45 but haikuwa haikuwa hivyo mzuri cause like si gym yote i just came that day yeah, sure. and i had to play that day so haikuwa venye nilikuwa na expect after apo then nikarudi home so when i rudi home nilikuwa depressed kidogo of course it's normal cause unajua ume ushaanza ku kuzoea life flani then ukienda home your life different unajua yeah, like nileo. mind mind yako iko kwa ball sana iko kwa ball but ukishatoka zoezi iko kwa vitu vingine zenye zifai iko kwa vitu zenye zinafaa then madango alikuwa anatoa na nipatia hope sana niambia nisijali time itafika na time ikifika inafika so that same same year uh, 2018 in august i think i came to serbia no actually before i went to italy i came to serbia first then i went to italy then after italy then i came to serbia again and when i went to serbia mara pili nika fanya trials na red star then wakasema watan sign so nika sign 29 2019 january mm-hmm. and still sign ko red star but i went from law to grafica belgrade and i'm still pushing and soon i hope things will will be okay uh, your experience yako ya kufanya trials at big clubs kama you know Red Star is a very I think it's the biggest club in uh, in in Serbia. Uh, you've had terms at uh, Inter Milan at Juve. H- how was it like for you now? What's kama kuna mchezaji mdogo ako Kenya na tamani tu kupata hiyo chance ya kunda trials and if I expect nini at such a big club. Um for me nasema ilikuwa ngumu kwangu cause mpira ya Europe na mpira ya mtaani ni kitu different sana. So it was very hard unajua. Ukisema ni different ni different in terms of what? Is it just the good uh, pitches that they have or what else? No, no, it's not about <laughs> even pitches and everything. Of course they have good pitches and pia venye wana coach unajua. Like mpira ni mpira ni kama masomo. Let's say mpira ni kama masomo cuz unza pata mtu mdeli anajua ball ni technically ni mdeli but tactically akuna kitu and now i think football ni tactic if you have mm-hmm. tactic then hata ukicheza na wase wako technically good i think unaweza manage but ilikuwa poor ilikuwa experience poor and mm-hmm. me i knew like okay i know i know football but 
venye nilikuja huko nilipata pia sasa wanajua ball like wasia wanajua ball si atikubatisha watu wanajua ball for me nilikuwa tuna ile kitu tu like from the start i had something inside like i can do anything like even if i can't just i'll just try you know just try your best and if things do not go good then it's okay at least you tried your best but kitu mbaya ni una regret like okay i didn't give my best then i'll have to regret but when you give your all and you end up buyer you're still proud of yourself so uh, i was mm-hmm. i was happy yeah. Um nani anaona show eh, David Owino Kalabas sijui kwa unamjua defender wa Rambi Stars anasema nikusalimie sana hii ni personal trainer wako Namezea namezea Mlipata na wapi na alikuwa na kutrain wapi Majun jamu ana kuna apendi Nairobi sana shanga mlipata na wapi Sinakuru Nakuru mimi nimesema nimetembea Eh mimi nimesema natembea tembea ma ma area fulani unaona hizo ni mashimo zangu pia Ah, uh, hiyo ni fiti sana. Um, napenda hiyo patha anachukua unajua ana, ana, anapenda tizi sana na mbota hata off day yake anaenda kutrain watu kwa gym. Unajua yeah, anani mchezaji amecheza amecheza Rambi Stars hiyo level na expect. Off day yake anatujia lakini off day yake anaenda kutrain watu normal tu kama sisi man fit kwa gym. Hiyo kitu ni baba sana. So anyway tumeongea sana tumeacha Gavin hapa uh, amenyamaza. Gavin unasema ulianza kucheza um, serious football at the age of 16 you know uh, uh, ukiwa mtaani huko una huko unacheza uh, bolio at a serious level um but how, how was it like for you to move from an amateur side in, in Netherlands to Willem 2 ilikuwaje for you siko nanga kwa kutoka amateur to Willem 2 nilianza nilianga kwanza um, FC Eindhoven oh yeah yeah you can eh uh, pia hiyo ni ni professional lakini ilikuwa ilikuwa hard for me kwa sababu sikuwa sikuwa experience sikuwa na experience so mimi nilitoka amateur nikaenda huko nili train siku mbili nao wakasema wananitaka mm-hmm. so venye walisema wananitaka uh, tukakuwa na friendly game friendly game na vile mtu mm-hmm. so hiyo friendly nilicheza hata ikuwa hiyo friendly ikuwa sicheze waliniambia anga nikae tu home ni relax so mimi nikawauliza nika anga tuacha nicheze kwa sababu sina training sina game so nikauliza anaweza cheza hiyo game wakaniambia ni sawa mimi nikaenda anga na nikacheza nilicheza anga 90 minutes so mimi kucheza hiyo game nilicheza anga poa the next day nilitumiwa kwa whatsapp uh, sijui na eh, sikuwa anga sikuwa na joani nani lakini wali ni text wakaniambia kama naweza anga kufanya trials with them too oh, so much So hapo ndo mashida zikaanza kidogo kwa sababu uh, FC Eindhoven ilikuwa imenichukua na William Twill kwa ananitaka walikuwa wanataka nifanye trials. So FC Eindhoven kaniambia ni choice yako lakini ukienda ujue utarudi kwetu tena. So <laughs> so ilikuwa eh uh, so ilikuwa ngumu kwangu nilikuwa nasema sana niende ama siende nisiende. So nikauliza nga mama mama kaniambia hiyo chance utapata tena we enda tu risk kwa sababu life unafai ku risk so mm-hmm. mimi nilikuwa nasema nilikuwa najiambia sana kienda huko vile mtu alafu nisichukuliwe itabidi tena niende amecha saka kurudi tena kuanza mwanzo tena so mimi nikaenda anga tu nikafanya trials nilifanya kitu kama two weeks so two weeks nilifanya trials every week nilikuwa na train uh, mara mbili mm-hmm. so kutre, kutre now Uh, after two weeks wakaniambia the third week ni nikuje na mom so ndio ataniambia kama nimechukuliwa ama sichukuliwa so mimi kuenda anga nika train nao nikamaliza training nikaenda kuongea nao wakaniambia eh, tumeona uko poa lakini bado tuja, tuja kuona vizuri kwa sababu trainer wa hiyo team aku kuanga mm-hmm. ilikuwa ilikuwa assistant assistant training walikuwa wanani watch Mm. So wote na mwenyewe mwenye alikuwa ananitaka the next year kukuwa alikuwa alikuwa sijui alikuwa mgonjwa. Sio akaniambia anga tutaongea na huyo trainer tutaona kitu atasema. So mimi nilikuwa nimekasirika kidogo kurudi home na mamu tulikuwa tulikuwa kwa train tulikuwa tunarudi home. Si tunarudi home nikapigiwa simu naona mtu ananipigia simu sikuwa na hiyo namba. So mimi nashika simu akaniambia tumeona tu tukuchukue tukuchuku, kwa sababu wao matina wengine wanasema wewe ni deadly so tunakuchukua tu so mimi nilifurahi sana i was happy alafu two months later nikaambiwa nika sign 
So ndio nikaanza nga huko. Lakini bado ilikuwa ngumu, ilikuwa difficult kwa sababu sikuwa na experience. Juu sikuwa nimecheza ball for a long time, nilikuwa nimecheza tu one year. Mm-hmm. Najua kucheza kwa street same na kucheza kwa yeah, kucheza ball for Nigeria. Na ilikuwa yeah. professional level. So mimi kuchukuliwa angwa ne nikacheza nikaanza under 19 nilikuwa nilikuwa 16 nilikuwa na 17 nikacheza under 19 sikuwa nacheza games zote so ilikuwa ngumu kwangu kwa sababu nikikumbuka kwa amateur nilikuwa nacheza games zote mimi ndo nilikuwa mdeadly kwa team <laughs> so nikaenda nga huko sikuwa nacheza games zote so ilikuwa ilikuwa ngumu kwangu narudi home nimekasirika kidogo so nikaambia na mama makaniambia tu nikuwe patient So alafu tena kabla season ishe ndio nikaanza na kucheza nilikuwa kwa lineup nacheza vizuri uh, sasa no, ndio mambo ya corona ikakuja so venye corona ilikuja season ikaisha hivyo tu ndio sasa hii season mpya tumeanza mm-hmm. nacheza sasa nacheza na training na under 21 alafu ma game nacheza na under 18 ah, so mm-hmm. nacheza vizuri na kwanza line up every week niko line up so na i'm happy now and i hope things will be uh, things will be better inshallah kila kitu kwa fit uh, yeah. dino uh, dino we um uh, uli acha ball uh, ukaenda finland umekuwa ukisoma so uh, unasomea nini sasa hivi finland nasomea coaching and sports management mm-hmm. eh uh, you need part of my plan iko niko na bigger plan so ndio maana nilijia chuo ya ya sports mm-hmm. eh kuna job pia niko na foundation mm-hmm. so hizo zote ni, ni plan nimekuwa nayo ju nime notice moja usha hebu kama sasa hii Jeff nikuulize national team wachezaji wale unaweza sema wamekuwa wameperformia sana vizuri unaweza ama wale sahi wanashikisha mimi nikiangalia sana wale wanatu make a difference unapata ni wale wamecheza pia Europe kidogo wame develop yeah, nje unaona so nime notice talent tuko nayo lakini hata kama ni wale wachezaji wamecheza eh, Kenya Premier kuna ile progress ya development ndio mtu ni mdead lakini kuna progress ya development hakuna alimisa ni kweli eh so hiyo ndio maana nataka yani kusomea ni niko nasomea niko na nafanya coaching badges UEFA coaching badges mm-hmm. so niko part of my school part of my school program plan yangu ni kutumia Dino Foundation kurudi mtaani ku develop wachezaji kwanza hiyo age ya 16 17 18 <laughs> tunapata talent kutoka hapo chini si wa deadly ukiangalia kutoka kitambo kina fupi ya kina nani yani talent iko lakini kufika hiyo age ya kusonga hapo mbele kidogo ndio tunapotea so nataka kukuleta hiyo knowledge yangu mtaani niweze ku develop hiyo age sasa ndio mtu atakaye kuja Europe anakuja kama ready product na hata ama ama sisi wenyewe tutujenge mtaani but say in the ah that is good na experience yote uh, for you imekuaje finland unajua kuna pia watu vijana mtaani uh, maybe amefika age of the reality is mtu akisha ukishakuwa ukishafikisha 2020 22 hapo it's mm-hmm. very difficult for you to come from kenya directly to a big team in in europe so for the for the people for the young people who are who are, who are almost shelving their dreams of playing professional football but wanataka kufanya kitu kenye unafanya maybe coaching in europe unaweza advise mm. aje experience yenyewe imekuaje kwako ni experience poa sana na yenyewe atuko in terms of development na na kufanya vitu tuko nyuma sana hao watu yani wana wame invest serious sana na, na sports so mtu tu ni endelee tu kungangana atafute njia ikifunguka sawa hata mimi mwenyewe personally na try to organize connection between chuo yangu na, na na foundation tushike mtaa wale vijana wa bright kidogo wanapata scholarship wanakaa yeah. na somo isikuwe tu si ball peke yake plan yangu si ball alone nataka pia kuunganisha chuo yetu na na na, 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 na mtaani design mtu wako sawa education anaweza kama anapiga scholarship yake anarudi pia anajijenga pia ni nimeongea nao e, ilikuwa plan tulikuwa na plan ya kukam washuke home tupige kama development ya one year wa train ma coach mm nilikuwa na ka meeting na Nairobi Federation walikuwa interested corona ndio ime stop shall to move but plan yangu ilikuwa ku camp ku train kwanza ma coach wengi mta mm. kama dan nusema dancer ya before you dancer bro <laughs> umanza ure yake sasa <laughs> dan ya yangu ni gando so nilikuwa nataka ma, ma coach na maudi jordan wako properly trained 
design so kile kile kijana kutoka home na handle wana coach ako qualify uh, nimenoti sumu ko kifanya uh, tona flani december d for for a very long time now nini li inspire hiyo uh, movie yako ya you know ku ku, ku kuanzisha hiyo foundation and what have you done so far and what are the plans eh i i, i foundation kitu ilifanya nianze tona ni nilirudi mtaani nikapata grau ya dando iko empty Mm-hmm. Yaani ni deck lakini hakuna mtu anapiga shughuli grau kienda si watu wengi wako alafu mabijana wengi unaangalia wale watu wana look up to ni watu wako saka nya zingine mm-hmm. so nikajiuliza ni nini ili kunafanya mimi nashinda grau ni nini ili kuna ili nifanya mimi siku siku ya mambo mo so mm-hmm. nika nika sababu ni bor nika 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 nikaanza tona saka ku keep mabijana busy mm-hmm. apart from ku keep mabijana busy nilienda nilienda Norway na Maisa. Mm. Chote. Na as much as me appreciate Maisa kuna mimi sema alicheza role fulani lakini nataka kuzidi kutoka hapo. Nataka kuleta sasa through Dino Foundation nipige shughuli yangu. Nilitema vijana kama Helsinki Cup. Ah. Ile haraka tena vijana wako Helsinki Cup. Ni wash ni upigisha ma friendly na ma, na ma team. Alafu kama kama mtu anaonekana na team ina ina, ina iko interested mimi namwachilia sababu ndio nataka kuwa na difference na Maisa kama sisi unajua si hata ungetaka team ingekutaka kuna mali ungeenda so hiyo yeah. ndio part of the bigger plan uh, that is nice odada for you experience yako hapo um, uh, sarbi imekuwaje red star belgrade uh, the moment to resign um, you know you first started playing for for the youth team how how was that experience and how is it different from playing uh, you know uh, football in kenya <laughs> Uh, about that never say my structure ya uh, ya football huko na Kenya it's very different like um like facilities and how they coach like it's something different tunajua like mta mta watu wakienda tizi wanataka kucheza ball unajua si nataka kucheza ball atuwezi kimbia atuwezi fanya vitu fulani si nataka tu kucheza ball kisha kucheza ball tumaliza twende mtaani but hapa sometimes ball and it's about bill of pressure just passing and everything and training it's over just go home and come back the following day so experience me kwa poa cuz nilikam nikaanza kucheza youth team and youth team huko pia ni competitive kidogo cuz I'm in the Champions League and ni poa like experience ile kwa poa cuz even uh first team wako sasa hiyo qualifications za Champions League the last two years I'm in um, the Champions League but I kwa hivyo mzuri but walipati wa top top teams like Bayern mm-hmm. Paris unajua it, it was not simple unajua mm-hmm. so experience ime, ime kuwa poa just hard work unajua cuz mtaani watu wanajua ball unapata wachezaji pia wana ni hard workers unajua but wanaangalia like okay na work hard but how is it going to happen like how am i going to make it about that neither sema like if you are working just work and everything will come unajua like if now i start thinking like okay tomorrow i want to be in manchester how am i going to be there it's not possible you just need to start now like i will like i'll just work then things will come unajua cuz ukianza ku work saa hii usifikiria like about tomorrow you just work after work everything will come so that's all i can say for now like just hard working and don't think like about tomorrow what's going to happen tomorrow as long as you are doing the right thing that's the most important thing when you're doing the right thing then even god he's seeing everything so yeah basically um, that's it Odada niko na niko na jezi niko na hudi kali sana hapa ya uh, Mozart Beta na many other gift campers from uh, Mozart Beta who are the uh, sponsors of this show um na niliambiwa niliambiwa um, you know at Red Star Belgrade uh, Mozart Beta is the official uh, betting partner of the uh, of the club so i have to ask you this unajua um uh, teams kama Red Star Belgrade na unanga iko na ma, na ma sponsor wengi sana Uh, najua jacheza ball KPL but 
hiyo kwa na partners wengi sana kwa timu yenye wanasaidia timu uh, inaleta difference gani kikompe na nikoshua kuna mabiche zako na wacheza huko mtaani unafikia na zile issues wako nazo uh, mtu ajalipwa salary yake sijui for how many months uh, what is the biggest lesson you've learned in terms of management kwa team kama Red Star Belgrade ili maybe haiko mtaani yenyewe unaweza sema ukiambiwa sema mtaani maybe there's a make a difference ah uh, about sponsorship can i say it depends wana side ya team like kwa do flani kiasi and it depends also how the team is performing wana jua call kama team i perform then they cannot do anything but the more team in a perform then the more they are getting like more sponsorships and everything sai wako na wana macro wako na gazprom na hii moza so like sometimes i think they help a lot unajua they help a lot because um like now kuna ma games but fans wa kam kuona kuona bo and most of the income comes from the fans when i do the more fans wana kuja then the more like club in a benefit mm-hmm. so now e corona like my fans were were, were you allowed to be in the ground playing ground and that's very hard but at least kuna part of sponsorship yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so again nata kuambia wase wana watch show uh, i have giveaways from uh, mozart bet this is just one of those beautiful that I'm giving away I'm about to ask a question if you've been in kuna ya yellow uh, kuna ya red by the kuna javis kuna makopia you know uh, so kama mmekuwa keen I'm just about to ask a question hapo kwa uh, kwa page uh, Gavin for you uh, I know you are uh, you are an attacking uh, uh, forward uh, na julienda ulienda ulienda ni Holland when you are very young but do you follow uh, Kenyan football at all Eh na kuna wengine wengine naona anga Arambe kicheza sasa zingine naangalia anga Ah uh, who's your team zingine Hizo team zingine sizijuangi yake Najua pia ni hard kupata games za Kenya online so I understand yeah. that But who is your favorite player from Kenya and why Favorite player wangu ni uh, ni ah yake ni msauti na yake <laughs> Lakini nilikuwa na Deno tulianaanga mimi na Deno tulianaanga ku ku coach game ya Tottenham. Then uh, walinipeleka Champions League uh, ya ilikuwa alikuwa anacheza na Ajax, so alikuwa anacheza huko Holland. <laughs> so then walikuja na kanichukua tukaenda coach game. Yeah. Alafu after that tuliananga then walikuwa anaitwa Ajax yule mwenye alikuwa anacheza China. Ajax. Ajax yule alikuwa anaitwa? Ajax. And so huyo na nilimwa chingi nilimsearch nilioona YouTube and ni ataka deadly sana. Mm-hmm. So anacheza ngapoa na pia kuna striker mwingine sijui anacheza na country gani niliona nga hata niliona kitu yake ya Facebook alifunga bao walishinda 12-1 na alifunga ah. bao eh <laughs> oh, nili eh uh, one striker pia mdeadly sana uh, so what are your dreams you know, you kwa club kubwa uh, your stars started uh, rising unajua you know, yeah. sure, najua kuna citizenship ya uh, ya Holland now Uh, but i'm very happy at least bado unajua kuongea Kiswahili are you looking forward to play for Kenya soon you know uh, yeah, given forward. given a chance would you play for uh, for Holland or for Kenya if you were to make a uh, choice sai ninge choose ninge choose Kenya akina ta ku represent home yeah kwa sababu nataka tu kuonesha wajama wa home pia si tuko na tuko na chance pia si tuna wa pia au na work hard to represent home pia home ikwe club ikwe nini club kubwa sana pia si tujenge ball huko kwa sababu ball iko fit sana huko ah, najua watu huko wako na talent wa, watu wengi wako na talent lakini chances ndio wapewi uh, that is nice uh, dino now you are, you are trying uh, you are working uh, forward to becoming a coach an agent you are doing a lot of things but i want to put you to task na story ya 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 kuwa agent i know you are, you've been trying to move uh, a number of kenyan players to europe Uh, your experience in ekoaje mimi i keep saying mimi nilijaribu na mimi sina patience hiyo mimi najua nga sina patience uh uki ni disappoint mara moja mara mbili then uh, i'm done with you i think you know kitu lini ilifanya ni hiyo story sasa hata said mtu akijaribu kuniambia sijui ati kuna mchezaji mdeki sijui jaribu kumtafutia club au tunakosana 
I know it takes a lot of patience. Na wachezaji ni watu wagumu sana ku deal nao. Unajua we make fun with them, I host them on shows but if you can me a biz manzi sio tupata ni mali fulani kuna timu inakutaka utampeleka kesho utasuggestia menda wapi na hiyo kitu kilikuwa ni mess sana but for you this uh, career you decided you want to pursue uh, imekuaje so far <laughs> so far enyewe eh, kitu nasema ni patience na learn na learn patience ndio ndio the word kwa hii game but pia kausha hustle europe i think unaweza kuna learn patience jo lazima uko impatient mm-hmm. eh ni kuna juzi nilikuwa na shughulikia mchezaji alafu kila kitu ilikuwa poa inaenda poa last minute timi kanyamaza sasa nikachanganyikiwa unaona alafu pia unapata mchezaji kuna mchezaji mmekubaliana naye kila kitu kila kitu ikifika mali sasa inakuwa ni aje tupige shughuli nisukumie eh, mandeti yako nini pia yeye eh, ama miss lakini sasa nimeamua hii ndio ndio njia sasa so, ndakuwa tu patient na nataka kuwa more honest na na hope wale watu nda deal nao watakuwa wa honest nisipopata kama na deal na mtu na na ni dishonest na achana tu naenda na songa mbele juu at the end of the day hiyo hakuna kitu kingine naweza do but patience mm. ndio you the word kwa game well apart apart from uh, patient what else uh, have you learned uh, uh, as as you try to move players ni what is the biggest lesson that you learn ni kushua umeongea na makocha huko Europe umeongea na uh, watu wako in charge wa kusaini wachezaji uh, like i said i've tried i've tried to do that and uh, the biggest challenge for me to, 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 to is to is to get videos of kenyan players and prove that indeed they are good players that they weren't to be signed directly especially in europe it's it's very difficult mm-hmm. but apart from that uh, you've, you've talked of patience Uh, what else have you learned that uh, probably unaweza ambia mchezaji mdogo kwa mtaani ata ana dream ya kucheza bola ta Finland or anywhere in Europe mimi yenye umelearn na yenye kimwambie inaweza 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 make it easier for him to move you you kitu umesema at this moment hakuna kitu muhimu kama video kwa mchezaji hiyo mm-hmm. ni one of the most important things juu unasema kijana ni talented lakini like, utaprovide na naweza penda federation hata kama si juni ya kina nani watasikizana naye nao wasikizana wetu na, na watu wa televised games zetu mm. juu yenyewe hiyo ni very very important na tuna need ku market wachezaji wetu na ningi tu walete nje wa develop hiyo ndio ni kitu kingine ninao alafu kitu naweza sema pia ni challenge ni ndio tuko technically gifted but ball size is only technique leo dada amesema tactically kuna vitu mingi ziko sana kwa coaching na somo ya coaching agility strength unapata mchezaji yako Europe 16 17 18 years anajua kwenda kwa gym ako na program yake anajua kila kitu amelearn so from certain age nikiwa kwa age hizi ndio vitu nafaa ku emphasize on hizo ni vitu watu na mtaani so pia hii knowledge ni very very important tuanze ku instill kwa wachezaji wetu mtu anajua by this age eh, nikiwa mdogo sifai kupiga C strength muhimu ni, ni agility ni speed ni nini yani tunafanya the right things at the right time i think pia yoni muhimu sana ah uh, uh, that is nice odada now uh, the something uh, uh, niliambiwa na mabeste zako that when when you are growing up una time ulikuwa striker um, deadly sana um, but again tena uka switch uka rudi kwa midfield and you became a very good defensive midfielder nini ile inform you why did you switch back to defensive midfield from apomele okay like honestly Uh, nilikuwa nacheza like number 8 attacking midfielder mm-hmm. that time si kwa nimeanza kucheza kama striker kitu kama hiyo cuz mm-hmm. nilikuwa na hiyo time nilikuwa na watch lampard sana and alikuwa <laughs> na nibamba acheza yeah. ball alikuwa mdeadly si ati nini alikuwa na score alikuwa na do kila kitu kwa grao mm-hmm. so yende ali ni inspire like nianza kuwa midfielder kitu kama hiyo but nilianza kama goli mara ya kwanza kabisa yeah. nikianza ball nilianza kama goli Mm-hmm. but siku hiyo pro then nikaingia midfield nikaanza kucheza nikaona eh kumbe ball pia ni kitu tamu na ni serious mm-hmm. at a certain point ni kitu serious then after hapo kuna game plan tuko na cheza tu shule hiyo time nilikuwa high school and striker wetu akapata injury na kuko na msemo mwingine anza cheza hapo so si mimi nikaenda tu hapo mbele nikasema cause haiko it won't back let's say 20 minutes and kukuwa na mchezaji mwingine mwenye anza cheza striker so waka wakamtoa na wakaingiza midfielder mwingine so i had to go like in front 
Mm-hmm. Then hapo ndio ilianza. Nikaanza tu kufunga nilipata ball na sh- nikishoot ni bao. <laughs> Kitu pia nilikuwa nafunga. Yaani nilikuwa deadly striker si atio. Mm. Then after hapo um cuz nikicheza striker first nilianza kama midfielder like niki sasa nikianza kucheza ball serious kama mm. midfielder. Now ukiwa midfielder I think kama we ni midfielder unacheza defensive ama attacking anywhere unaweza play like katikati. So nilikuwa experienced like katikati na cheza defensive. So when I came to Europe, unajua wanajua tu wanajuanga like wachezaji <laughs> weusi wanaweza cheza wanaweza <laughs> defensive poor. <laughs> so <laughs> nikaanza nikaanza cheza defensive but sikuwa um, um tactically good sikuwa hivyo sana poor but nikaanza tu kula na unajua kula like ni boring hiyo ndio kitu boring kwa football kabisa because utasimama siku lan like tactically ni kitu boring kabisa hata kwa coach unajua kienda tizi uone leo mnafanya tactic then unaboeka ah <laughs> unaboeka uh, but nilikuwa nilikuwa patient and nika try to like learn and niko penye niko but still i have more to learn unajua na watingi watu kaka kina mgabe kina tosh ni wa, ni ma players wa deadly sana pia tu kwanza cheza level yoyote hata barcelona sasa uke kamkabia na kupigia yeah, I, was so, actually, i was actually coming to that unajua um, at least umecheza junior team na junior ulikuwa captain i think under 20 kuna tournament pale pale machakos ulifunga bao deadly sana si tournament ilikuwa game actually qualifier uh, pia experience ya kucheza national team ilikuwa ni Uh, ilikuwa ilikuwa experience poor cuz kuna time nilikuwa yeah. nilikuwa na, napata call up like naenda 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 camp but tukifika tuki like washa panga game ya date ya game but ikienda kufika wana postpone so like sikuwa nime nimecheza like official match ya Rambi Stars at mm-hmm. that time And then after that ni ndo tukapata opportunity ya uh, ya kucheza against Rwanda ilikuwa qualify ilikuwa qualification za Afcon. Yeah. And hiyo ndio ilikuwa game yangu ya kwanza. Obviously haiko kwa poor to draw one one but I can say like we didn't play good like how we were supposed to do because on friendly games we were super good. But hiyo game sije tulichezaje then tukaenda away Rwanda we played draw 0-0 then we went out. But it was experience poor sana. Uh, now speaking of speak umongea kuhusu Mugabe umongea kuhusu Tosh uh, but who do you look up to um of course uh, for me like abroad na look na look up to Raja na Ingolan <laughs> okay uh, why is it so because he's a super good player he can defend he can attack he can do everything right so like i was a, a little bit sad because world cup world cup akuitwa and ilikuwa nataka nione vile atacheza but of course kuna wachezaji wazuri kuna ma midfielder wazuri like mimi waangalianga mostly waangalianga like nikiangalia game naangalia tu position yangu like in seven yanafanya because at the end of the day you will learn something through him unajua see like hata kama msia anachezaje you just look because you will learn something uh. and mtaani pia kuna wachezaji kuna wachezaji wa deadly kama kina sad mm. kina kina sven kuna kuna wachezaji wa deadly so i'm glad you just saw watu wa kibra walikuwa shanza kurusha ma message hapo ni sayeni wa wasema nikwambie wataje unajua eh but when you mesema hao ni hao ni mabeste zangu na manze sad na jua ball sven na jua ball Uh, na sivena mimi sikitaswa wish him all the best uh, very soon najua sad pia inshallah atakuja europe uh, njia zote okay. okay inshallah uh, government okay. mfanye umenyamaza sana so for you um, what are you looking for uh, what are you looking up to in the, in the near future gavin amehanga ni kama amehanga sijuta bidi mimi ana na merudi gavin eh nikaniona network ndio ilikuwa imeenda kuna uh, kidogo uh, pole so for, for you now that you are playing regularly for uh, you know William 2 um, uh, 
the youth side uh, under 23 na under 19 uh, in the near future una, unajiona wapi probably in the next yeah. five years unataka kuwa level gani the next uh, next five years unataka kucheza hizi teams za unataka kwenda premier league kama unataka kwenda spain hapo ndo unataka kuenda sasa mm. so i hope uh, naweza chezea manu napenda kama manu sana <laughs> toka nchini ndogo baba pia alikuwa baba alikuwa pia fan wa so hiyo ndio dream ya eh sasa hivi pia nikipata tu chance ya kucheza first team huko Holland pia naweza kushikia sana so kwa Jamani network yangu mbali ni ya ama ni ya nani ni ya Gavin. Ah, sawa itabi tume tu, tumemvuka kiasi. Uh, Dino, uh, maybe parting shot yako itakuwa itakuwa nini? Gavin network yako inasumbua itabidi ume change wifi eh? tutarudi hapo kwako. Kwa. Oh, ume mnasikia sasa hivi? Eh uko poa. Sijui nini ilikuwa mbaya. Uh, unaweza kumesema oh unataka kucheza Europe uh, la Liga ama ama IPL uh, na pia uko umesema uh, unataka in the next probably in the next in the near future unataka kucheza William 2 senior you know we should the best but you know for that you have to really work hard unajua yeah. your discipline has to be top notch mimi sijacheza ball at any good level but najua hizo ni vitu i work i still work around for like hizo ni vitu very important for for young players and i was like i was telling you before you are very privileged that uko uko Europe tayari kwa setup fit team kama wile mion team team kubwa sana so just make good use of the mobile data that opportunity kama urudisha wifi wifi wa Dino eh network ya Gavin nasumbua lakini sawa tuko karibu kumaliza so probably what in nini inaweza kuwa parting shot yako na Jordan Dandora wanakuangalia wanakuja December unajua tunaona tena bado kuna miradi zako na jaribu kubomba wachezaji Uh, but what would be your parting shot now because you are finishing the show eh hey, parting shot yangu naweza sema wachezaji wa wa mtaa wa Jiskume niko na wachezaji kama wawili wako wako Gambia wanataka nipige shughuli na hao wachezaji huko ni video daily wako tizi daily wanapiga tizi yani na si wanajisukuma mbaya nikikompare au au vijana wako Gambia ama vijana wako Europe na vijana wa mtaa kusema kweli hard work hard work level yetu ni different mm. so watu wanafawajua wako behind na, na bado kuna watu wako mbele yao wanajisukuma zaidi so hard work kwanza discipline plus videos 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 kama unataka kujiuza ji market vizuri anza kuweka vitu zako za kujiuza eh alafu pia kama unawadhamini ni mzee natafuta ma sponsor wako kama Europe Helsinki Cup Inshallah inshallah kila kitu itakuwa fit. Uh, for you dada what would be your parting shot na ni kama watu wa Kibro wameamshana wamesikia umetaja sad na Sven mnataka kocha Swani hapo ashaanza kushare share video. Uh, unataka kuambiaje vijana mtaani unajua kuna watu wanatamani sana kucheza hiyo ball at such a big level. It's a big privilege for you to play for uh, such a big team like uh, Red Star Belgrade you've had trials at uh, Juventus you've had trials at Inter Milan. Hizo ni vitu wasio wanatamani sana hapa mtaani but who is the experience match the ball up uniza waambiaje ah by the way usijamake it kwanza usijamake it ndio ujamake it lakini unajua hiyo chance tu yeah yeah like when the governor alisema when the governor alisema vijana mtaani hata dino anajua tunajua ball sana but atupatangi hiyo chance at least wewe umepata hiyo chance uniza waambiaje unajua kuwapatia tu hope uniza waambiaje by the way acha kuna nataka kuambia kitu fulani kuna ni, kuna time nilienda home alafu kuna kuna boy fulani tu kwa timu yetu ni kijana mdogo anauliza swali moja like uh richie mimi nacheza bola hapa home ndafikaje europe hivyo ndo alikuuliza of which of which ilikuwa 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 swali nzuri so kenya mimi nilimwambia ni like tulikuwa hapa wote unajua mm. and tulikuwa na sikuwa na jua like yeah yeah tulikuwa na kitu na able but i was older than than him mm. so nikamwambia like 
it's okay like it's a good question and what you need to do like i was here also and i don't know like how things went and now i'm where i am because that was the that was the plan i don't i i i didn't plan that but it was destiny you know so like time yako ikifika hata kama ni nani amesema kuna kuna mtu anaweza funga hakuna mtu anaweza funga mlango za msee so kenye mimi naweza ambia tu vijana like hard work to hard work kama ronaldo ronaldo he's the best player in the whole world but hard work yeye ana put na kuna kila kitu ame ame achieve like kila kitu in this world ame achieve kila kitu but still ana work hard design like ana kitu yote but still ana 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 work hard so wase wana fatu sisi wote tunafatu kufuata tu footsteps za wase wenye tunaangalia kwa tv tunaangalia kina messi of course at the ball tuko kama kina messi but tuna try kufanya vitu wanafanya like behind the scene unajua mm. then ukikuja kwa pitch kila kitu tutaonekana runi anacheza ball unaona runi ni deadly but hauji kenya anafanya ndio akuwa hivyo venye yako yeah so just hard work and don't think like how tomorrow is going to be just work and everything will be okay that's the advice shukran sana uh, gavin no merudu me badilisha wifi very brief uh, nilikuwa kwa nilikuwa kwa mobile data yangu nikidania imeisha ndo nimeingia kwa wifi Wife. pole uh. Uh, you know uh, kwanza niko nimesema kuna swali moja niko nimesema kuuliza as a very young uh. i think you are the youngest here how did you balance uh, how did you i'm not sure if you're still studying but how did you balance yeah. or how do you balance education and football professional football aki uko na kwa ngome wame fix vizuri sana kwa sababu tuna unaenda shule na unaenda unaenda cheza ball wanakuanga na connection poa so ina kuanga time tseme mimi na kuanga na cheza professional na kuanga ni kama niko na certificate inasema niki train tseme niko na shule lakini niko na training naenda training Mm-hmm. lakini bado max zako zinafai kwa fiti kwa sababu kama max zako ziko poa watasema uta train utafai kwenda shule lakini so toka kwa professional lazima ufanye kila kitu lazima uko mzuri shule ndio ucheze hiyo ball kwa sababu unataka kucheza ah okay that's interesting so what would be your parting uh, shot kuna vijana wakia michael na wacho na shangala gavin na kohola ndio sahi alifikaje na cheza ball maju uh, unaweza waambiaje yeah. mimi nawaambia tu aki ni ni, ni kuwakatu kwa sababu pia huku mimi nilikuwa nasema anga mimi mdeadly na job chenga watu so ndacheza ma game kukuja huku naona ni unafai ku work hard kwa sababu pia unaweza kuwa mdeadly lakini kama work hard trainer hata 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 kuacha ucheze kwa sababu anataka uoneshane pia unataka ku, ku kucheza professional so unafai ku work hard ukiangalia kama mtu kama Ronaldo au watu wenye wamesha wame achieve kila kitu lakini bado wanajipush unaweza fikiria ni kama bado wajaanza ball ni kama ndio wanaanza so mimi naambia kitu kila mtu work hard kwa patient na kila kitu utakuja tu venye unataka good fit jamaa nimeshukuru sana tumi spend almost one hour kwa hii kwa hii show but i think it's the best i've ever had mavijana mtaani mnaona wao watu wadogo but they are doing dino na joesi mdogo si like Odada and Gavin they are very young and they are you know they already playing professional football in uh, you know in Holland and Serbia respectively now we are going to come down so it's very possible so um jamana washukurtena sana for accepting this invite to be on my show what do I learn from you and I wish you all the best in whatever you are doing uh, Dino in your schooling life in your agency agency career na kutaki all the best na jua uki ukianza kumove wachezaji pia mimi one way or the other man mavijana wa mtani pia wata, wata benefit which is something is very good so do you know how do you say it ha ndo mtamuliza swali hapa kiatiuliza dino kama lazima mchezaji ateze national team ndio aende maju hebu jibu tutasikwa ni muona hiyo si totally kuja bila kucheza national team lakini mm-hmm. makoch wengi wana prefer mchezaji yako na CV ya national team si yeah. lazima yeah. but video zinaweza kumekia hizi mm-hmm. lakini si lazima but national team ni CV poa sana ah uh, yeah that's good alafu kuna wacha niongeze tu kitu moja hapo Gavin amesema yani side teams si necessarily talent alone wanasema good people make good athletes so unaweza kuwa ni talent lakini wewe si mtu mpoa watakuachilia 
Ninge pia na example ya mchezaji mmoja wa Kenya but talita maneno but uh, ina make sense sana. Ina make sense. Uh, so Dino how do you say goodbye in Finnish? I'm sure you've learned a lot of Finnish words now. Nasema moika. Moika. Eh moika ma moi moi. But then Dino um kuna wachezaji wengi sana wa Kenya wamecheza ball uh, Finland na uh, why is it that uh, most pitches na kuanga artificial turf na ball na chezo like kwa uh, enclosed uh, buildings it because of the weather? weather eh uh, weather uko jo baridi snow ndio kwa sana na giza na bit kaendani ah safi so umesema uh, goodbye in finish is moika moika ama moi moi alafu ukiniambia hivyo mimi nafaa kusemaje ama na kuja tu thumbs up na na rudia tu moika ah safi moika na odada have you learned any sabian word so far ciao ciao abanzi sio ni kiitaliano na ni ngizi it's the same ah saf gavinan for you uh, how do you say goodbye in uh, in dutch wako tunasema ngadui lakini kusaini usiku so nafai kuambia fina afu fina afu alafu mimi nasemaje fina afu pia uh, pia unasema fina afu <laughs> yeah. lakini pia nataka kuad uh, kitu kwa watu wa home pia yeah. nataka kuambia nilikuwa nataka kusema nini ya haki <laughs> nilikuwa nataka kuambia kila mtu nilikuwa <laughs> nataka kusema kila mtu anafai kuopia na discipline discipline pia ni kila kitu ah. unafai kuonesha na unafai kuonesha na pia unataka kuwa professional ni kama one hour before before kila mtu akwe kwa kwa playground pia unafai kuwa before hao unafai kuwa wa kwanza kwa playground na pia wa mwisho unafai kuonesha na unataka kuwa card na unataka kucheza hii ball so ah. discipline pia ni kila kitu ah safi Salimia madha sana wow. na nimesikia kikongelesha hapo sa hapo kando msalimie sana Dino. Sawa. <laughs> <laughs> Ama nataka kusalimia watu na kisapere. Kusalimia watu. Ndio hao kisapere bure. Sawa mam take good care of uh, Gavin Dino. Manze thanks sana for the link up na jua bila wewe inge kuwa possible ku meet uh, Gavin. Odada inshallah tutaona na very soon na watakia kila laheri na mkuu na Johnny Njemo. Safi. Thank you. Sawa. Oh, thanks, Yaman. Hi. Sawa na